Welcome, my friends, uh, subscribers, wanderers, those that just uh, happen to come to this uh, because I've shared it on somewhere else. Um, do consider uh, subscribing if you're new to this channel. I deliver a lot of good information, really. I'll begin with the date, December 14th, 2022. Uh, so we were in a 12th month, which is the hangman, uh, in a sixth year, the, which is the lovers. The uh, lovers kind of come up here pretty quick. Uh, we look at the, we use a thing called tarot numerology here for our energy blogs. And um, so we're going to add this, these numbers up, uh, 12, 14, and 6. Uh, gives us 32. And uh, 3 plus, well, and 32 is above 22, which is the limit of tarot numerology. So we reduce that to some number below uh, 22 by adding the two numbers together. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 is the Hierophant. Uh, we use the major arcana. Um, and that's why it's 1 to 22 instead of 0 to 21, as it normally is. And we just move the fool up to the 22. Anyway, 30, the Hierophant, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is uh, depicted as a pope, but it doesn't have to be a pope. I mean, it could be uh, anybody that delivers a spiritual message, really. Uh, so... Hopefully, I will deliver some kind of a spiritual message today. If not, I'll bring in somebody else that can, um, like my higher self. Anyway, let's move on to the human amplitude. And I said, yeah, six, the lovers. And that came in at one, the magician. Uh, that's the master of uh, the elements, uh, earth, air, fire, water, and, um, or, but that is a, an adept, not a master, actually, an adept, uh, somebody that's new to the trade, so he's, I mean, he's only one, that's the beginning, right? Well, zero would be the normal beginning in the tarot with the pool, but then we go to the magician. And don't ask me why, because um, a magician actually needs to know quite a bit of shit in order to be able to be any good at it. Uh, I know, because I was a magician once. Well, in, as in a high priestess of a coven once. I was, I won't deny. So... One plus six is seven, the chariots, but we shouldn't do that. Six, the lovers. This is beauty, balance, intuition, uh, and uh, love overall. So love is the amplitude key today. Love, 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 amplitude of six. Quality power was nine. Nine is the hermit. We go within with the hermit. Uh, we retreat up the mountain with the hermit. So it's a retreat and a going within and a seeking of inner wisdom. Something we might have to do if we're in love. We might need to seek some inner wisdom so that we come back in a balanced and loving way, right? Then we have uh, the frequency, 8.10 hertz and uh, for the high, and 7.80 for the low in hertz. And the com combined number is 1590. 
15.9, excuse me, divided by 2, we get 7.95. And 7 and 5 is 12, and add 9, that's 21. And 21 is the universe or the world. So love, introspection, brings us the world. And it does, actually, you know, in a way. If we, if we, if we are smart about it, right? Unknown caller. Oh, no. I don't answer unknown callers. Nope, not going to do it. All right, looking at the endless spiral here. Let me put that down here, out of my sight. Go away, phone. Unknown caller, go away. Persistent little bastard, for sure. And looking at the endless spiral, I don't see anything coming off of it. Let's go up and see if uh, Ben saw something earlier. Oops. This is not working for some reason. Hmm. I guess we won't go to Ben. We will just go on with our report. Looking at the... Um, well, we did have a triangle flip right here at the end of the day. Uh, and it looks like... I don't know. So we had some... And the red was way up, and then it came down, and then that came down, so... Hmm. I may be wrong on how that how that triangle works. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, looking at the solar wind density in the orange here, or mustard color. Uh, we took a way big dip down below 10 protons. <clears throat> almost to five, uh, four maybe even. And then, but we're back up at 10 right now or right above 10 so so we all got that little bit of a walk walk the purple line here in solar wind speed is at oops it's coming across right in that range right there and that is 350 or 300. 300 to the 350 line, I guess. Oh, I guess it's up a little bit. It's up in this line. Yeah, so it is definitely in the 350, 350 kilometers per second. So that's how fast we're space trucking there with the solar wind. And the temperature is down. It really dipped way low, like everything else did. That's that's got to be an anomaly. Nothing goes quite like that. Um, at least I've never seen anything natural go like that. Um, and it looks like we're right holding on the two thirds line here, though we've had some spikes up today. So temperatures up and down all around uh the k index we have almost nothing going on but it's in the green it's showing green all the way across from midnight or 12 a.m till three we were just off the four uh, then from three to six we went to a one a little bit above a one actually and then we came down to less than one, and a little bit less than that, half of that again, and we are, oh wait, come back, come back, ah, and then we go up to a one from three to six, from six to nine, uh, we're almost up to a two, 
or just a little a little bit under a two so there we are folks that's our k index that's our the only thing we don't know is what what's happening with ben and the i don't know why this didn't work let's see let's try it again let's see boom there we go must have not hit it right must have not been holding my face right Good morning, folks. We've got a bit of a solar uptick this morning. We'll take a look at the storm system causing major problems across the United States and parts of Canada. We've got top we stories are. as well, but we'll start with our star where still the main story of coronal plasma is mostly minor motions and minor surges. We've now got small coronal holes incoming on the eastern limb as well, but we had a small flaring uptick that reached M-class flare range earlier today. Not strong enough to make... Huh. So... I don't see it, but maybe it's past. Well, maybe it's just grazing us right there. Boom. Yeah, maybe we were getting hit by a little bit of that. It's coming around and just give us a little bitch slap there. Smack. Maybe, but we don't see it in the geomagnetics. We could say that we see it in the um, the frequency at 795. Uh, that's pretty high. That's And that corresponds to our alpha state, right? So if we're in a meditative state, we're going to be vibrating at 7.95 hertz for, for that period. So we're not getting... And it used to be 5.86, so really slow. I don't wonder what our theta state is if this alpha state is 7.95. Well, and then I don't know that it corresponds. I know that it did correspond once upon a time between the human frequency and our frequency in a meditative state. So... Let us pull a, let's pull a card from the angels and ancestors and see what they have to say about love and the hermit and the world or the universe. What in the world is going on? Sam Brinkman Freed is going to jail. Uh, he is in jail. Tried to, I guess he cried like a baby. Well, he cried anyway. When they said, yeah, no, you're going to, you going to jail, no bail, because we think you're a flight risk. Since you got, um, was it 30 million? 300 million? Something like that. Uh, in a bank in Brazil. So he's thinking he can escape to Brazil and be safe. But we will say, no, 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 you no escape, you go to jail. And the Bahama jail is not noted for its uh, accommodations. So, oh, and he says, oh, I can't be because I'm a vegetarian and I'm um, depressed. You think? <laughs> you think that's going to make any difference? He shouldn't have said depressed, because now they can say, oh, he committed suicide. Yeah, and we'll shut him up. Because we don't really want him to go to court and testify to what he did with the De Democratic Party. No, fuck no, we don't want that. Of course, they may just hope that, you know, the press, they got the press won't report on it, and they can say, fake news. If it gets into the alternative press, right? I don't know, folks. I don't know what's going on here, but I know that these censoring motherfuckers have got to go. The algorithms or whatever it is, whether it's um, the internet is dead theory or we have evil people.
mucking us up here. Okay. It's going to be that middle pile. And the card is... The card, I say. That comes up. Is, is, if I can bring it into focus here. We're having a little problem with the light. Oh. Heart Guardian, love and let yourself be loved. So there she is, the Heart Guardian. Appears to be meditating upon it. The Heart Guardian. You know, I have never pulled that card before. But it does seem appropriate because we've got it in the amplitude, love. Love, love, love. Love and above. Above, as above, so below. So the universe loves us. Uh, so we should love the universe, right? That would be the spiritual message. Um, guarding our heart, heart guardian. Um, well, I can kind of see that in a, in a way. I mean, if you've been hurt before, you know, you're going to be more guarding of your heart. Um, and it really takes a lot to, you know, open up to it. I mean, I have. I know it takes a lot, um, many years after having my heart broken that it uh, took me to get to where I could love again. So it does, it does take you down uh, sometimes, but it also lifts you up. Love lifts you up. Love, self-love is the most key thing, and I guess this is the spiritual message here. Is love is the self-love, uh, having an unconditional love for yourself. You, you have to kind of practice on yourself in order to be able to do it for other people. Um, plus, once you love yourself unconditionally, then you want to share it with everybody else. So, and certainly with your uh, one that you have a relationship with, um, your your better half, as it were. Uh, whether that, you know that be male or female doesn't matter. Well, you well, I don't know. I mean, you should really look at yourself as equal. That we all are equal. We're all one. We all tap into the one consciousness. We are, in essence, here to love, uh, love, love the creation, and love ourselves, and love each other. Um, there's different forms of love. Love isn't a love is a many splendid thing. Is uh, is one of those things uh, that they have out there, and it is in a way uh, a many splendid thing. Something said to pull another card here, so we get the male perspective here, and we have. Lord, take charge with. Authority. Here we go. Now we have a loving couple together. The Lord of the Manor, uh, the Lord of the Hunt. What is he holding here? An ankh. A 
staff with an onk on it. So the essence of life. Uh, Can't make out much more out of that. Um, now he's wearing a circlet of horns, so the Lord of the Hunt, for sure. Uh, Lord of the Wild Hunt uh, is what comes to mind. And the love of the, the heart guardian. Well, the authority is authority should be uh, come from the from the heart, from love. Uh, love is the first distortion, and love is key. Uh, if you come across with a loving authority, then it's a little bit more palatable, um, I think, uh, for most people. So yeah, um, speak with authority on love. If you, you, we all have a, an experience with it. I hope. I suppose that's not always true, but I certainly hope so. And with that, I um, hope that you will share this if you're uh, one of my subscribers, uh, so that it gets seen by more people. Uh, if you're new. Uh, or if you're watching this on my Phil Christopher's channel, uh, please uh, consider coming over to, please consider su subscribing to my Emil Dragon Reiki channel because I don't know how long it will be before I will be back on Phil Christopher's. Um, so, would love it if you all would move over to the Emerald Dragon Reiki and join me here. Thank you and goodbye.